All right, welcome back. So what we were trying to figure out is this right here. What is this X component of where we're going to end when we shoot this rocket, when we shoot this rocket out of the sky? Where is this going to be? Well, to figure that out, we need to think back about the original rocket, the path of the original rocket. We need to say what determines where it's at along this ac this x-axis here. Well, we know that the original rocket, to figure out where it was at along the x-axis, we would take that initial velocity, which was 32.52.1 and we multiply that by the angle. That angle was cosine of 46 degrees multiplied by time. That will equal its position along the x-axis at a given Okay, well that's great. <clears throat> so I guess we need to figure out what this T is. What what is what time is it when this rocket is 52,800 feet above the ground? So how would we go about that? Well, we would go about that the way we solved for T in an earlier video where we were trying to figure out the J component. So that looking back, that was the initial velocity times the sine of the angle times t minus 16.1 t squared that's the acceleration vector well we need to when is time we want to know when is time when we're this height, what will the time be on this along here when we're at this height? So if you solve this for t, which I'm not going to do, you could use quadratic formula, you'll get t is equal to 27.9433 and 117.5 36 and these are both seconds so what are these what does this mean well this first T that we get 27.9433 this is obviously when it hits 10 miles in the air on its way up somewhere along here the second T is the one that is important to us that's on its way back down that's when we want to hit it we want to hit it at 10 miles in the air on its way down. So that's a useful piece of information. Now that we know at what time it reaches that height, we can put that into this T up here, and that'll tell us the distance that it was along the x axis, which is what we want to know right here, the x right there. So when we do that, 3252.1887 cosine 46 degrees times the time 117.36 when you multiply this out you will get 26,000 no I'm sorry 265,135 point zero two nine seven feet this piece is what goes up here that is the X component so to review what all we have we know that we start at eighty four four eighty cosine fifty three degrees comma 84, 480, sine 
of 53 degrees comma zero that's where our that's where our base is set up and when we fire our missile to intercept the other missile we're gonna end it's gonna hit it at this point twenty six five one three five point zero two nine seven comma zero comma fifty two thousand eight hundred so now that we know where we start where our where we're gonna intercept the missile at now we need to figure out a few other things and I will do that in the next video